Hello, this is Tom Zepperfeld from Graphilion, and today I want to show you how easy it is to integrate a third-party text analysis tool into our uh, platform. And the result of this integration is a graph that contains the vocab vocabulary linked to extracted uh, concepts and uh, entities from the text. Um, to illustrate this, I'm going to use uh, this uh, third-party uh, tool, well, service, uh, it's Meaning Cloud, and they have a lot of uh, products, and I'm going to focus on uh, topics extraction. Um, and that one uh, returns uh, concepts and entities, but all, also a lot of uh, other things, but I'm not going to focus on that now. So, uh, when I log on, <clears throat> I have uh, here, I have, uh, I have different dashboards, but on this feature demos dashboard, I have a button meaning cloud. And uh, let's just uh, enter some, uh, some text. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna copy it from, uh, from uh, a website. I have here an article of the Royal House of Norway. So let's just copy some text into uh, JSON and I'm gonna Okay, uh, demo document uh, Ghana, and I'm gonna add one uh, one uh, line. That's let's see if there is an interesting name here. Okay, Minister Solheim. Okay, Mr. Solheim lives in Barcelona. Okay, when I'm going to analyze it, okay, it returns to JSON, and the JSON then is processed into a graph. Let's first have a look at uh, how the JSON looks. I'm going to use here this online JSON viewer. Okay, so it returns the data, it has the entity list, and entities are linked to semantic entities, Ghana. And this is country. So from this JSON, what uh, what Gafilion uh, uh, does is it extracts from this JSON, it extracts the um, the graph, and here it has uh, the document with uh, everything that has extracted here. Even you see Barcelona, which is an instance of uh, of a city. It also automatically builds the vocabulary with this hierarchy in it. You see it has child, it builds it automatically. So from here, <coughs> of course, when you do this with multiple documents, you can use this all kinds of graph algorithm to see what is the similarity between different documents or go, for instance, from, from, doc, from one uh, node, uh, start exploring, okay, are there other documents that are also on these, um, uh, on the same uh, same geographical units, for instance. Okay, if we um, uh, look at how this is done in uh, in um, uh, in Graphilion, in fact, it's quite it's quite simple. I have um, sorry. If I go to the function, it's this one. So here you have a function which is an, uh, an HTML view in our case. This is basically the first form that you have when you enter document ID and the paste the contents. When I submit that form, it goes to the meaning cloud. Uh, so so this, is an, this is an API function that we have. You can have the, uh, the key and you can, uh, uh, this one we can move out over here. It has a number of uh, parameters, uh, and uh, once you send it and it returns a response, so when it executes successfully, here you have the JSON output that we looked at, and here in this cipher query, it extracts the data from um, uh, from the meaning cloud data, and it uh, it, it creates the parent-child relationships for the vocabulary, and um, at the end, well, it, it uh, finds, it, it creates links for all the entities and concepts that are found in the document. And in the end, it returns the entire uh, graph 
as we created it. So as you see, this application logic, it's only a small application, but it's a graph too. So, and that's one of the, one of the, uh, um, uh, let's say this, the, the particularities or the, the what makes Graphidion special is that also your application logic is also in, in the graph. Okay, thank you for uh, watching. Uh, stay tuned for uh, more interesting examples. Thank you.